Shalom, everyone. This is Dr. Durr. I'd like to welcome you back to the Hebrew Word Power. Today is Hebrew Word Power number 16. Yahuwah, our righteousness, or the Hebrew, Tasiskanu. Hallelujah. I'd like to say all praises to the Most High Yahuwah. He who breathes life, behold the nail hands. His son, Yahushua, Yahuwah, is salvation. The Ruach Hakadesh, to set up our spirit. The Comforter, the one who leads us into all truth. Praying that all is well with you and your family. Praying you will be obedient and that you will accomplish all that the Most High Yahuwah has given you to do. Hallelujah. Go with me to the book of Jeremiah 23. We're going to start at verse 1 all the way down through verse 8. And it reads, we read it from the Sefer of the Sefer Bible. Verse 1, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says Yahuwah. Therefore, thus say Yahuwah Elohai of Yasharel against the pastors that feed my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, says Yahuwah. And I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries, whither I have driven them. That's us, the Hebrew Israelites, that were driven and taken away by way of the transatlantic slave trade and scattered all over the world. He said, I'm going to take you where you have been driven, and I will bring them again to their fold, or to their land. And they shall be fruitful and increase." And I will set up shepherds over them which shall feed them. They shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, neither shall they be lacking, says Yahuwah. Behold, the day comes, says Yahuwah, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. You know I'm doing a teaching right now dealing with the prophetic uh, or the prophecy about Yahushua HaMashiach that's written throughout the Torah, the Tanakh, the Brit Hadashah, which is renewed covenant or the Bessorah dealing with the Gospels, and many people are stating that there is no Messiah, there is no Yahushua, uh, Yahuwah didn't have a son. Uh, this is just a bunch of lies, the spirit of the anti-Mashiach out there running through the land. But here, here's another verse that points to a righteous branch, which is dealing with the Messiah, the Mashiach. Let's start again at the fifth verse again. Behold, the days come, said Yahuwah, that I will raise unto David a righteous branch. And a king shall reign and prosper and shall execute judgment and justice in the earth. Isn't that the Mashiach? Don't that sound like who's coming? If you look throughout the book of Revelation, from Genesis all the way through Revelation, with the apocryphal books added, if you look throughout those lost books, you will see the Mashiach being mentioned. Hallelujah. So uh, we're not going to hit on that. We'll talk about that a little later on in our other presentation. But I wanted you to see that again, how Yah is making it known to his people that his son does live and he's representing him on the earth hallelujah the son does not take the place of the father hallelujah the son is always pointing back to the father if you see me you see my father hallelujah okay the sixth verse in his days yehuda shall be saved that's dealing with judah and yasharel dealing with ephraim and the whole of yasharel uh shall dwell safely yasharel in totality yasharel coming together as one in the book of Ezekiel 37, it says how Yehuda and Ephraim will become one. They're two separate sticks, but they're going to be intertwined and become one nation. And they shall dwell safely, and this is his name, whereby he shall be called Yahuwah Tosiskanu, which is dealing with Yahuwah, our righteousness. That's what we're dealing with today. Therefore, behold, the days come, seven verse said Yahuwah, that they shall no more say Yahuwah lives, which brought up the children of Joshua out of the land of Mizraim, dealing with Egypt. That was our fathers coming out of Egypt. But the eighth verse says, But Yahuwah lives, which brought up, which led the seed of the house of Joshua out of the north country, and from all countries where thou had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Hallelujah. Well, y'all saying, Yes, I did bring my people out of Egypt, but you're not going to state that anymore. I want you to talk about them 400 years I told Abraham about. Uh, how his people were going to, was going to go into 
400 years of bondage, uh, were going to go through a lot of things. But when they came out of that nation, that one nation, they were going to come out with great substance. That's what y'all is talking about. That dream, that vision, those 400 years had nothing to do with the Mizraim captivity or Egyptian captivity. Uh, they were over there 430 years, but all those 430 years were not of captivity because Joseph went in at 17 and he died at 110. If you subtract those years, you'll realize it's not 400 years. Then Jacob came with family, our ancestors, and they dwelt over there and they bought, uh, stayed over there 70 years. So when you start counting numbers, start subtracting, uh, dividing stuff, you'll start realizing it's not 400 years that they were in bondage. It was around about at least 285 to 300 some years that they were in total uh, bondage over there in Egypt. Hallelujah. Because they were not in slavery when Joseph was in charge. Uh, neither were they in slavery when uh, Jacob came with our ancestors, our family. No, they were not in slavery for those years. So you got to rightly divide the word of truth. Now let's look at the word Tosiskanu. It's Hebrew word 6664. Tosiskanu, dealing with Yahuwah, our righteousness. It's dealing with justice, righteousness, rightness, what is right or just or normal. Uh, it's dealing with a just weight or balance. Uh, it's dealing with uh, how kings should be judging, how rulers should be judging in righteousness, how kings should be judging, how uh, the law should be dealt out to the people in righteousness. It's dealing with Yahuwah's attributes. He's a righteous king. He's a righteous uh, creator. He's a righteous judge. He's a righteous uh, uh, sovereign ruler that's dealing with Yahuwah himself. So also, I'm going to go through some more scriptures here that deals with the word righteousness. If you go with me to the book of Psalms chapter 4, verse 1, and it reads, Hear me when I call, O Yahuwah of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. Let's go to Psalms 7 and 8. Yahuwah shall judge the people. Judge me, O Yahuwah, according to my righteousness and according to my integrity that is in me. Hallelujah. So you see that Yahuwah is our righteousness. That's why they gave him, he gave himself the name Yahuwah Righteousness. He's a righteous judge. He's a righteous redeemer. Shalom.